Hey guys, I'm Blair with The Verge. I'm here in Milan where Asus has just revealed the new Pad Phone 2. Now, you hear me saying a Pad Phone and I'm standing here with a tablet. What's going on? Well, the thing is, uh, as you've seen with the original Pad Phone, this is a tablet and a phone. It's two devices. Well, in fact, it's just one device. This is just a 10.1 inch display, 1280 by 800 resolution, and it has a 5000 milliamp hour battery. The big difference with this docking station is that it's now significantly thinner. It's a smaller battery, but it's significantly thinner, which is a big uh, advantage. And it also has this new 13-pin customary uh, dock connector that ASUS has come up with. It supports micro USB and MHO connections. But that's not really the exciting part. The exciting part is the new smartphone. Uh, it is a 4.7-inch device, uh, 1280 by 720 resolution, uh, which is kind of standard nowadays in Android flagship smartphones. Uh, compares very well with the HTC One X. Uh, they seem to be about the same size. They're about the same thickness and weight as well. Uh, however, the Pad Phone 2 has been upgraded with a new quad-core processor. It has the quad-core Snapdragon S4. This is something that uh, ASUS describes as a Cortex A15 class processor and it tells us it uh, obliterates every other Android phone in terms of benchmarks. We'll have to check that out, but really it's not about benchmarks, it's about the user experience, which, uh, looking at it right now, it's running ice cream sandwich. Not very happy about that. We would prefer for it to be coming with Jelly Bean, particularly since the release date hasn't been specified yet. It's just before the end of the year. Um, but it suits promises a Jelly Bean upgrade soon. But still, it's snappy, it's quick. Uh, it's still um, Asus's mild Android skin on top, on top of Android 4.0.4. Uh, and um, just looking around it, uh, here you have a highly customized notification screen with a few uh, toggles and notifications. The app tray looks relatively close to stock. And you've got the multitasking buttons. Uh, the Android keys are once again capacitive as opposed to on screen as Google likes to do them. Now, apart from the new 4.7 inch display, it's Super IPS Plus, it has Sharp's IGZO technology. It's one of the first Sharp IGZO displays that we've taken a look at. It does have some very good viewing angles, looking at it from the side. Uh, we'll go around to the back, another of the big upgrades is a 30 megapixel camera. This is a Sony made backside illuminated sensor, it has an LED flash on the side, and it has an f2.4 lens. Uh, now, one of the things that uh, ASUS, shot, uh, ASUS tout as a particular advantage for this phone, the Pad Phone 2, is that it can do 100 frames at 6 frames a second continuous shot. That's faster than the Galaxy S3, faster than the One X, and again speaks to the performance of this new device. Um, but the 30 megapixel camera, you might have already seen it on the Xperia T from Sony. Uh, it looks to be the same sensor. It also has the same uh, 30 megapixels. Uh, but that's it, that's our first look at the ASUS Pad Phone 2.